Tuffy's center console security insert is made for all 2015 to 2018 F-150s with the flow-through console. This is a nice, affordable way to secure valuables like cash, electronics, even a truck gun, if you will. And the Tuffy console takes up your original console space, but it doesn't take away from it. It also bolts directly to your truck, so it's definitely not going anywhere once you install it and lock it up. Now, install gets a very easy one out of three wrenches on my patented to difficulty meter. No drilling is required, so you should be able to install this block box in about 15 to 30 minutes with basic hand tools. Now, a good safe is one that can't be broken into, right? The Tuffy box certainly lives up to its name. It's made out of 16 gauge steel, certainly heavy duty, and it has some nice pry proof hinges. The lock itself is a 10 tumbler double lock, so you're not gonna be picking this thing open very easily, which is a nice touch. What I like about the Tuffy box in particular, though, is that it does not interfere with any of your truck's features. You'll still be able to use your factory USB and power outlets, and the top of the box leaves just enough space underneath the console lid for you to store some stuff that you might not want to lock up, like CDs, change, your phone, extra set of keys, or whatever else. And as far as cost goes, I think that $150 is a fair price for this lockbox. Chances are, if you're watching this, then whatever you want to keep safe is worth a lot more, so the box really speaks for itself on that alone. Like I said, install is very basic. You actually don't need to drill into your console or remove anything from your console, unlike some other lock boxes. So this does get a very easy one out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter again. With that in mind, let's head over to the garage and I can show you guys how to get this installed. For this install, you will need the following tools. An Allen key, quarter inch drive ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, and a Phillips head screwdriver. All right, so before we install our Tuffy console insert, we have to set up the arm that holds the lid itself. Now to do that, you're gonna grab the cap screw included in the kit, as well as both nylon washers, as well as this nylon locking nut. So as you can see from the setup, you want those nylon washers to be in between the arm itself and the insert. Once you have everything lined up, you're gonna grab a 12 millimeter socket and tighten down that nylock nut on the end here. And once your arm is set up here, go ahead and make sure that it's not too tight. Obviously you want your lid to be able to open and close. Since it is a nylock nut, you can make it tight enough that the lid will stay open once you actually open it up. Once that's all set up, it's time to actually put the insert inside of our center console. All right, so once your box is set up with the lid and the arm here, the hardest part of this install is actually getting the insert inside the console. Go ahead and make sure your console's completely empty. The instructions lay it out pretty clearly, but basically you're gonna keep the arms folded and the lid closed. You're gonna orient the box vertically how I'm holding it now with the lid facing forward. I'm just gonna slide it right into the console like so. All right, with your box inserted in the console, now it's time to get it oriented and standing upright. To do that, you're gonna turn the box like so. You're gonna lay it down flat. And then once you lay it down flat, you're gonna open the lid. You're gonna pull the box up and you're gonna push the legs down underneath. All right, with our insert now positioned correctly, it's time for us to install the retaining plates. This back plate comes first. You're gonna slide this in between the insert and this plastic lip right here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the plate itself rests underneath the lip. Now, once you have this underneath the lip, it might be a little bit difficult getting it to line up with the back of the insert. So what you might wanna do is open up the lid like so, reach underneath, and you can pull the plate flush against the insert so you can get those screws in. All right, if you're having difficulty getting that rear plate lined up with the threads on the insert itself, a little trick you can do, you can actually drop the plate behind the insert and drop the rear legs of the insert itself down. This is gonna give you a lot more room down here inside the console to line those screws up and then you can tighten them down, push your legs back up and put the insert back into place. All right, with our rear bracket secure, the last step is securing this front bracket. You're gonna slide it in between the console insert and this plastic lip on the top of the console itself. You're gonna want these threads to line up with the holes on here underneath. You're gonna grab those last two screws and you're gonna thread those through. All right, that's the last step as far as getting our Tuffy console insert secured to our console itself. The last step is inserting the spacers that connect to the legs underneath and that's just gonna make sure that the legs themselves don't collapse while you're driving around. All right, once you have your leg spacers lined up with the threads on the legs themselves, you're gonna grab those last little screws included with the kit and you're just gonna tighten those down. All right guys, so with those little spacers tightened up underneath, 
That actually wraps up our review and install of the Tuffy Center console insert for your 15 through 18 F-150. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.